Hey everybody, hope you're having a good day. Mr. Haynes here. Today we are doing a flame test challenge. And we need your help. Let's get started. Now, what is the flame test challenge and what exactly is it that we need your help with? Well, let me start with a problem. Recently, we were getting ready for our chemistry unit when Mrs. Peterson in our chemical cabinets uncovered three unidentified chemicals. They weren't labeled. And why is that a problem? Well, chemistry is the study of matter and how matter reacts or responds when combined with other types of matter with other substances and sometimes substances can react rather violently it can be dangerous to our health so we want to be specific that we know what chemicals we have in our cabinet so we know what proper safety precautions we need to take on certain labs even if we don't want those chemicals anymore we still need to know how to dispose of them and every chemical is different so it's really important to us that we identify what those three unlabeled chemicals are. Luckily, we think you can help with this. Now, here in my classroom, we set up a station complete with a Bunsen burner, with a beaker and various Q-tips. And what we're gonna be doing is doing a flame test with all 15 chemicals that we had in our cabinet. And why would we do that? Well, here's why. We take inventory on all the chemicals that we have here at Sycamore Middle School Science. So I know as a science teacher, all of the chemicals that we have in stock, that we've ordered and that we have currently to use in our labs. So we know that these three unlabeled chemicals had to come from one of those 15 labeled containers. Problem is, we don't know which container it came from. Hey guys, I'm gonna need some help with this. So what do we have to do? We have to take careful observations of all 15 chemicals that we have in stock. We're going to look at initial observations of what those chemicals look like, such as color and texture. And then we are gonna do a chemical test, a flame test, to see what happens to those chemicals when burned. Throughout, you're gonna help us by taking good, careful observations. You need to document all physical properties that you observe on the chemical before the flame test. What's its color like? What's its texture like? Size, does it have reflective properties? Is it rather dull? Then you're going to watch us burn each chemical to see if that flame color is unique and sets that chemical apart. This is awesome. You're gonna do this carefully for all 15 chemicals, and it's really important that you take good, detailed observations. Think of yourself as not just like a scientist, but a detective who's taking down all of these physical and chemical traits about a substance so that we can use them to try to narrow it down to our three suspects. Early next week, we are going to release a description of each of the three unknown chemicals after we've safely tested and analyzed them. We are going to present those to you and what your job is going to be as students is to try to identify what those three unknown chemicals are. You're gonna do this by matching the descriptions of those three unlabeled chemicals with the 15 known chemicals to try to create a match. So there you have it, there's the flame test challenge. So what are your first steps? After completing this video, you are going to go to our Flame Test Lab website, which is in the description of this video below, and start viewing all of the chemicals, physical and chemical properties. That's their initial observations and the flame test observations. That lab station that I showed you earlier that we set up, we filmed a physical description of each chemical and a flame test for each chemical. And you're gonna use those videos to take your observations of all 15 on your flame test observation sheet. Your only goal this week and by the end of the week is to complete your observations, both initial and flame observations of all 15 chemicals. That way, when we come back next week, you come armed with boatloads of evidence that you can use to claim what our three unknown substances are. And ultimately, you're not only gonna learn something, but you're gonna help Mrs. Peterson out, as well as your other science teachers, identify what these three unlabeled chemicals that we have in our lab here are. 
Have a great day, everybody. Have fun. See ya.